business, right? Uh, we have done a joint ven venture with a Canadian company for the cold storage mm. business. So, because we feel that's also going to play a very, very important part. So, we want to be able to go and uh, cover this entire 3PL uh, uh, th third party logistics as well as the cold chain or temperature controlled facilities and stick to the container freight station mm. business. So what kind of investments are we talking about as far as this business is concerned because this is pretty capital intensive. You're acquiring land, you're setting up infrastructure. Well we have uh, up till now we have uh, two locations. One of them just got uh, just opened about four months back. And up till now, we've uh, invested close to about 150 crores in this business. Mm -hmm. We've already started locating more land mm -hmm. all throughout India. So you've, you've started Panvel. Your yeah. Vishakhapatnam is up next. Where yeah. else are you going to be headed? Well, uh, we, are, we have a roadmap. We have Chennai. We have Cochin. We mm -hmm. have uh, certain areas in Gujarat that we are looking at. We are looking at uh, very seriously places like Indore and Ludhiana, okay. um, the NCR region. Mm -hmm. So what kind of investments are we talking about for the next five years into this business? Well, the investment plan today is at about 1,400 okay. crores. And where, is where, is, where is the 1,400 crores coming in from? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> no, we are working on different kinds of models where we are looking at uh, structuring, okay. structuring the business in a certain way where you are able to raise uh, monies through mm. venture capital or through uh, private, private equity, equity, those kind of... How much is Apollo Tires going to be putting into this business? Or none. None? You know, we, we, we had your brother and your father both on this show a few months ago and we were talking to them about the succession plan. So it, it's all clear in terms of how the succession will actually unfold? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so you will continue to look after Apollo International and all of the other newer businesses that you drive? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's my entire focus is to be able to build up these businesses. So how have you changed over the years, Raja? Because you know, you've, you've done a whole host of things from the lottery business to, to UFO to, you know, to now logistics. And that's a question you should ask my wife. <laughs> I mean, I, I feel I've changed over time. I've uh, become a bit more, uh, I've calmed down and uh, being able to carry everyone in my company as a team and being able to motivate them is something that I've learned over the years. And the biggest thing that I've learned in, uh, in India, working mm. in India, is how to be able to be absolutely patient. <laughs> because when you are dealing with things relating to uh, anywhere there is a government agency involved. Yeah. Especially just, now, I'm, I'm sure you're dealing with government agencies practically every day as part of the logistics business. Hey, a UFO. With UFO, I used to be sitting in the... What, the INB ministry? INB ministry and the north block and the south block and if there is an east or a west <laughs> block, I mean you really go after stuff which is really not required. You know, which you, you, yeah. because you're doing something good for the country, whether it's on the logistics side or it's on the digital cinema side, you're taking right. entertainment to everyone. Right. So you want to be able for them to say, hey, you know, we, we welcome you with open mm. hand, open mm. arms. Mm. But uh, that is not the case. Well, Raja, thanks very much for speaking to us. We wish you the very best of luck with both UFO and, of course, the new logistics business as well. Thank you. Thank you, Shireen. That's a wrap on this edition of India in Generation Next. We'll see you again next week. Till then, from all of us here on the team, goodbye and many thanks for watching.